Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. That responsorial psalm, in a sense, summarizes this whole feast. For today, present among us is our Savior, Jesus, who is Christ the Messiah, who is Lord God. For truly we come to celebrate the great gift of our salvation as the Word becomes flesh in that babe of Bethlehem. And what a tremendous mystery this is, this mystery of God's love for us, manifested in such a simple human way, as in a babe born of the Virgin Mary, a babe born not in splendor, but in squalor, a babe who comes to identify with our humanity in all its messiness. Recently, I heard a song, it was a country western song, but it was about the birth of Christ, and the, the words were, what a strange way to redeem humanity. It's an interesting line. What a strange way to redeem humanity. That God set about to redeem all of us from our sin and to bring us to a new life but he didn't do so with human power and glory, but rather in simplicity and humility, in poverty. We go to Bethlehem once again to reflect upon that scene in the stable of Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the angels and the shepherds. We come to recognize Christ in the messiness of that stable. I think sometimes we kind of sanitize Christmas a little bit too much. When you look at a stable and a nativity scene, it's all beautiful, all the figures are nice and they're painted well and everything looks so nice and together. Eh, it wasn't that way. That was a dirty old stable. There was muck all over the ground. There was probably that straw was not the freshest in the world. Jesus came into the messiness of our human life. And he comes into the messiness of the life that may be in each one of us. But he comes to redeem. He comes to transform. He comes to change. He doesn't come with power and glory because he doesn't want us to be controlled, but rather to be transformed, to become ever new people, transformed by the gift of the mystery of his love for us. That is the message of Christmas, to encounter the very living presence of Christ. Yes, born in the poverty of that stable of Bethlehem, but still present to us today. Sometimes I think we make Christmas a little too nostalgic. We think of it in terms of nice feelings and all the decorations and all the things like that. And I like nostalgia, no question about that. But Christmas is so much more than nostalgia. It is a present reality. We celebrate the present reality of Christ coming to us in humility and simplicity today, not as that babe in that straw of Bethlehem, but rather within the very simplicity of the Eucharist that we share. What appears is mere bread and wine, truly his body and his blood. Yes, it requires faith to recognize Christ there, but it also took faith for Joseph and for Mary and for the shepherds to recognize in Jesus something more than what appeared on the surface, to truly see the God incarnate in human flesh. And so for us, we are called to faith, to recognize in what is so humble and simple as what appears as bread and wine, Truly, the very presence of God become flesh, Jesus, Messiah, and Lord. What a tremendous gift we have. Christmas is not something we celebrate as a past event, but rather as a present reality. And we come to this Eucharist in order to be touched by the saving grace of our God. How blessed we are. We are invited to ponder with Mary, who kept all these things reflecting upon them in her heart. We are called to ponder 
the reality of Christ who comes among us in the poor and the needy, in the gift of each other, and in a very special way in the Eucharist that we share. And today, as I was preparing for this celebration of Christmas, I couldn't help but think of Father Charles, who's not with us physically now, but is with us in spirit. And I thought of how appropriate it might be to share one of his little prayers. And so in the spirit of Father Charles, I have a little prayer to share with you. It's called Hidden Jesus. Sometimes the greatest things come disguised without fanfare. You can miss them easily. You have to watch and deeply care. Like long ago on a quiet night in a humble shepherd's cave, an event occurred which no one knew the world from death would save. Jesus, Savior of the world, born in poverty, King of kings and Lord of lords, hidden in obscurity. There were no royal trappings there. Your courtiers were sheep. Your royal bed was made of straw. The goats sang you to sleep. You appeared in infant's clothes, the mystery we assess. Son of God, yet human too. You are the Word made flesh. Mary holds you in her arms. Joseph is beguiled. Though you are the Son of God, you look just like any child. Don't let us miss your presence now in word and in the poor. And you are here in Eucharist with us evermore. You come to us and others too. You come in great disguise. Your presence give to us, O Lord, faith to recognize. Hidden Jesus in disguise, help us see you more. We bring to you our trust and love. We prostrate and adore. We bring to you our trust and love. We prostrate and adore.